Now, this is a tricky question. How should I decide when is it the right time for me to be able to enter into a group discussion? Now, listen to this very, very carefully. In every group discussion, there you will usually be able to find that there are two situations which we call as crests, which means the peak of a group discussion where you will be able to find a lot of noise and a lot of aggression and everybody is participating at the same point in time. And there could also be a situation of what we call as troughs in a group situation, in a group discussion. Troughs, which means that there could be situations when people are absolutely quiet and more in a peaceful zone rather than becoming aggressive about it. Now, you will be able to find that in an opinion seeking topic or in a controversial topic, there would be more situations of a crest, which means that their group and the discussions would be more lively, would be more aggressive. It might probably be a little difficult for you to be able to get that chance at that point in time. So, try and seek out a time where there are more of troughs, which which means that the moment you find any amount of silence, any amount of peace, that is the time for you to be able to make sure that you're able to get yourself also be heard at the same time. Now, in abstract topics, what happens is that in abstract topics, you will be able to find a lot of times, a lot of troughs, a lot of peaceful zone. Why? Because people are still trying to figure out what is it that you, they need to speak. At that point in time, make sure that you're heard, your visibility is well seen. So, the best time to participate in a group discussion is of course needless to say when it's a situation of a trough. Again, a very important question I'm going to address here. Does it make a difference and is it important to be the first speaker in the group? Now listen to me carefully on the same. Yes, if you can, the answer is yes. If you do think that you have the content and you're very, very confident about the same, make sure you go ahead and grab the eyeballs of the panel of judges. But yes, at the same time, remember, it can also be extremely risky and it can go against you. If the amount of information that you probably are able to furnish is not substantial or is losing some credibility, some authenticity, that make sure that it can actually go against you and it will be remembered for a longer period of time. So only and only if you're confident about your content that you know enough and you can initiate and lead a discussion into a specific direction, then yes, be the one who can initiate and start the discussion and be the first speaker. Then a preconceived notion is that does the panel member has any preconceived notion about the topic? So see, we are all human beings and the answer lies in the same, which means if you are human beings, the moderator, which means the panel members are expected to be absolutely neutral without any bias. But because they are human beings, they are expected to have their own notions and viewpoints as well, which they may would like to express towards the end of the group discussion many a times that you will be able to find. But that there is very little control that you have over the same. So there is absolutely no use of letting yourself go loose on that and get and getting absolutely sleepless nights over the same. So give it your best and let the same remain be. Now, there are some situations in group discussions where we see that the participants themselves are given across a choice to be able to find out a topic of group discussion in the first two minutes, be able to identify that topic for themselves as a group discussion among about eight to ten participants and then start the discussion for the next eight to ten minutes. Now, in this kind of a situation, what is a very wise thing to do, and if you know, you may be able to guide the others in the group as well, which is that you must all, all of you must always write down about three to four topics in the order of priority that you think that you would like to discuss. And then once you've been able to do that, discuss it along with all the group members and that any that one or two topics which you think have been common and most of the people have been able to identify that out and have given across the maximum vote is something that you should be able to prioritize and pick it up right in the beginning because that is where you will be able to see that most of the members in the group will find their comfort level to discuss on the same. So that is the scheme to go when you need to decide the topic on your own. Now, another question is that do you think that the topics which are given across are given across according to the background of the participants? No, of course not. In general, on a generic note, the, the topics given across are most of the times general which can be applied into most of the group discussions. So, there is no such rule that applies here. 